Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about how to install ZSH theme. In the previous video, we already installed ZSH in plugins. Link on descriptions. Inside .zshrc files, we can see the default theme is Robbie Russell. Let's try change it with other built-in theme. Change it to in the loop theme. Save the changes and enable it. Source slash dot zshrc and the theme changed. We got good one theme, but we will install Power Level 10K theme. This theme was so beautiful and fast. Let's take a look on the GitHub repository. Power Level 10K Fast Implementation of Power Level 9K ZSH Theme When using this theme, you will be able to change prompt up to 3 styles. So, let's install it on our terminal. Find the installation using OMIZSH. Copy the command line. And paste to the terminal. Wait until done. After cloning repository completed. We need to set zsh underscore theme to power level 10k slash power level 10k inside dot zshrc files. Open dot zshrc files. Find zsh underscore a theme. Then, edit this line. And, save it. To enable changes, type source.zshrc files. For the first time enable power level 10k. We will be prompted like this. Does this look like a diamond? Yes. Does this look like a lock? Yes. Does this look like Debian logo? Yes. Do all these icons fit between the crosses? Yes. Choose prompt style. I choose lean. Show current time? Yes. Choose prompt height? Two lines. Prompt connection? I love dotted. Prompt frame? I choose right frame. Prompt connection and frame color. Light is better for me. Prompt spacing? I choose sparse. For the icons. Many icons looks good. Prompt flow? Concise better, because I choose many icons before. Enable transient prompt? For me, nope. For instant prompt mode, I choose quiet. Apply changes to .zshrc? Yes of course. And we got power level 10k zsh theme. For your information, this theme is so fast. You can watch the benchmark on the repository. Link on descriptions. If we want to change the configuration before. Type P10K configure. And we will be prompt like before. Or. We can change manually inside files.p10k.zsh on home directory. As we can see, we will be troubled if we do not understand the shell script. So, I recommend the change using p10k configure command. That's all for now, see you next time.